Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Chris Burns Outdoors. Uh, it's been a little bit uh, with Christmas and the New Year's. Um, fishing season's getting ready to start again, so I thought I would go ahead and do a little video on um, painting up a rattle trap. Simple, simple pattern. Um, outside of the base color, it's just a two color pattern. Um, it's a purple and a pearlized silver. Catches a lot of fish. It's a quarter ounce rattle trap, but uh, I thought I'd bring you guys along on this paint and uh, have a little fun with it. So, all right, here we go. Okay, so let's we'll start off with our with our base coat, which is just a simple. Um, Createx airbrush color paint. It's water-based and it's the opaque white. So you always want to get your base. Um, I always like to paint a base on these lures just to get a the color stick out a little bit better. And all you're doing is just it's kind of like a primer, so to speak. Um, just make sure you cover it. Cover your bait all up with the white. Probably get a couple coats on it. Um, and what this does, it just, just helps the other colors pop. So, always try and make sure too guys that you, it's easy to miss the belly and the nose sometimes. Just turn that over like that and get up underneath there pretty good. Just nice and easy. See how that's changing? I haven't painted in a while and uh, we've got 17 degree weather out there. So I thought today would be a good day to do it. Getting ready for my first tournament on February 11th on the Chickamauga. And so this is the time that I prep, paint some baits, orders are coming in. Um, got a lot of terminal tackle that I've got delivered in this week. Uh, sorry about that. Hold on a second. Let me just get this where I want it. I don't know why this, this thing is... There we go. Um, got a lot of terminal tackle that I had come in this week and just trying to get the boat organized a little bit. Um, all the things that I, I try to do prior to the season um, usually happens around this month. Um, I did get out to Chickamauga last week and fished a little bit just to get the feel of the lake and it's a really fun lake. It's a shallow lake, and there's and there's grass there. Uh, I always find that this little rattle trap here works pretty good down there. So I'm just kind of covering that all up. See how it's got a nice, nice base on that. And we'll just get the at the top of that really good and that's about it guys that's it so um let that dry for a second then i've got a blow dryer that i use to as you guys see in my other videos i'll use that blow dryer to speed up between coats um, so I hope everybody had a good holiday and everybody's ready for fishing season here. I'm excited. Um, didn't have a very good regional tournament, so I'm hoping that, uh, that this season goes pretty well and we could expand on what we've learned the last couple years on the, on the volunteer division. Okay, 
Next, guys, is just this uh, pearlized. Um, it's like a silver. It's got a little bit of pearl in it. And you can get this at Hobby Lobby. I think it's five bucks. But um, Createx, which I think is an awesome paint. Make sure that you shake up these paints really well, especially if you haven't painted a little bit, um, you know, with fishing all year, all summer and throughout the fall and stuff. Sometimes you put this stuff away and when you get back at it, uh, make sure you shake your paints up, clean your airbrush out really well. I actually had a problem with that here before I started getting my airbrush cleaned out so this is just a pearl eye silver it might be hard to see but you'll see once the bait gets totally covered you'll see it start to have a silver tint to it kind of looks like a bait fish so to speak with that silver in there it's nice and slow cover it up really good this is super simple pattern. It's a basically a two two color pattern. Make sure you, like I said, you're getting underneath that bait. A lot of times when the fish come up, you know they're hitting it from the bottom and they're tacking up on it. So make sure you get a good color on that. This blends in with that white, but see when you put that good white base on it, it just, when you put this color on top of that, it really makes it kind of pop out a little bit with the pearl, pearlized color. Sometimes too with the pearlized color guys, it's you might want to cut it a little bit, put a little water in it. It just goes through your gun a little bit better. Um, with the Createx, though, I find that those paints there, it's, they're pretty good. It's not that bad. You don't really need to cut, cut it a whole lot. I mean, this is coming out pretty good. You kind of see it take, take shape with some of the color. So then what I do to get a little bit on there so, so it don't run is... Just hit it with the, hit it with the air dryer. Nothing fancy, it dries pretty quick. That's it. Another shot of that on there. The top now of this bait, you know, I'm going with another color, with that purple color. So the top, I don't get too crazy with. But that bottom is super important because that's where this color will stick out as much. But what I like to do is I make sure I hit the whole bait. That way there, that pearlized color um, will stick through that purple a little bit. If you never airbrush before, starting out with just a couple colors and getting used to your equipment, this is a perfect pattern for that. Like I said, gets used to your gun a little bit, spraying a little bit, nothing fancy, and that's it. Kind of see that, guys. See how it's pearlized just a little bit. But when you dip it um, and put your top coat on it, 
you'll really see it shine. Uh, okay, so once we get done with that, not much to it there, just real light color on it. And then the other thing is always make sure you clean your guns out in between coats. It's super important. Especially if you're trying to hit certain colors. Now for me, the pearlized isn't too bad because I'm going over it with a purple and if it gets a little bit in there it doesn't really bother me too much. So okay, the next color that we're gonna use is just the deep purple. That's it. Um, this is airbrush colors. Uh, it's not a Createx paint, but it works pretty good too, guys. There again, shake it up really well. Um, so there's a couple different ways you can fish this rattle trap. One way is just cast it out there and throw it. Reel it in slowly. That's one way. The other way is you can yo-yo it. Now yo-yoing it is basically when you throw it out there, you pick your rod tip up and then you let it go down slowly and you just reel the slack in. And you just kind of keep yo-yoing it back to the boat, back and forth. And when it goes down, it flutters. And it's got really good rattles in it and then it attracts the fish. Also good for the weeds. This thing comes out of the weeds really good. So what I try to do, guys, is darken up their eyes a little bit. Let's see how we're doing that. And then cover that back. What I like to do is try and hit the back, and then the rest of the color will kind of um, go on to the sides as you're hitting the back. So you're not overpainting your, your lure. It's nice and easy. Nothing special. And again, make sure you get your eyes, darken up them eyes. You don't have to, but it seems like a lot of and I like to darken the nose up a little bit. It's kind of like that. Nothing special. Put the back up. This silver and purple looks like a bait fish when it's under the water. Just gives that nice little um, that nice little shiny glitter to it. You can kind of see a line that runs right there. It's halfway to the fish. And I kind of just, it's where I get the purple. So that's pretty much it. We'll hit this a little bit more. This side here. Kind of turn that like that just to make sure that I'm getting that. That's pretty much probably going a little darker, more darker than I want here, but I've got one that I painted up that just a little bit lighter. So Okay. That's pretty much that color, guys. That's it. And then when we dip it, those colors will really, really pop. Doesn't take long. Super simple. Probably cost you, I don't know, six dollar lure if you went to the store and bought it. Once you get all your stuff, fairly cheap. 
Okay, so this is what I use for eyes. Um, kind of like these right here. So what I like to do, this is not a must, but I always, because these, you can get these eyes guys from Amazon, um, but they, they work really good. And then when you dip them, they stay on there really well. But I always like to take just a little dab of super glue. Not much, just an extra added deal to keep them eyes on. I got my little tweezers. tweezers got that super glow just put it in that socket I just hold it there for a second flip it over and kind of do the same thing on the other side pretty much it and then at the end of the video I'll go ahead and uh, show you what it looks like dipped I'll put some pictures up of what it looks like dipped and that's it that right there it's a deadly little bait all right, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment to the channel. If you'd like to see a certain color um, painted up or if you have any questions, let me know. I'll get back to you and try to answer anything. Really kind of new to this, guys. It's my second year painting. Learned a little bit. So if you guys are getting started and uh, you have any questions, give me a holler. All right, out. Mm -hmm.